Hey guys, Ryan Kleckner. I'm out here at the range getting set up for an awesome, what I hope is going to be an awesome, Colorado elk hunt. I have a setup here all from SIG. I mean all from SIG. This is SIG's new cross rifle. This is SIG's Sierra scope with the BDX system in it. It's a SIG silencer on the end there. I'm even shooting the new cartridge by SIG, the 277 SIG Fury with the hybrid case on here. I'm excited to get this thing going. Uh, the BDX system is really neat where it works with the laser rangefinder and, and your smartphone with ballistic software. And it sounds complicated, it's, it's really not that bad, but we'll cover that later. For now, we have to get an actual mechanical zero on the scope at 100 yards to make sure everything works. And that's one of the things I really like about this is no matter how reluctant I am to rely on technology, at its heart, this scope is still a regular scope. So even if I don't use the BDX system, I'm still adjusting crosshairs to get a good 100 yard zero on there. Now, to start, of course, I'm at 100 yard range. I have a nice stable platform. If you know me, you know I like shooting off of a pack anyway for stability. But when I'm shooting for zero, I'd like to save some time and ammo. I like to bore sight. Now, on a rifle like this new cross, it's kind of handy. You can just fold the stock right out of the way, take my bolt out, and I can get the rifle stable on something on the rear and look straight down through the barrel. And I'm going to line up the chamber and the crown of the barrel first. So I take some time to make sure the barrel is actually pointing straight. And then I move it and point it at something that I can recognize downrange. And without disturbing the position of the rifle, I bring my head up and see where the crosshairs are. If I need to do it again, that's fine. I line it up and I bring my head up and look where the crosshairs are. And all I'm gonna do is adjust the scope so that the crosshairs line up to what I'm pointing the barrel at. At 100 yards, it works just fine. Now here's something that might throw you for a loop, is if I look through here and I look through the scope and I realize that the crosshairs need to move down, don't pay attention to the direction arrows on the scope. So even though this has an arrow going this way saying up, that's referring to the bullet impact. That's not gonna move the crosshairs up, it's actually opposite, right? If you're pointing the rifle and you move the crosshair down, you need to bring the whole rifle up to aim again. So it's backwards. If that confused you, just pretend I didn't say it. Go to the range and try it yourself. And when you make the adjustment the wrong way, it'll be obvious and you can go the other way and maybe remember next time. So let's take our chance here to line it up. This won't probably get us perfect, but it'll at least get us on paper and we won't be chasing rounds then and wondering where the ammunition went. All right, line it up through the barrel, through the scope. All right, that's close enough. That'll get us on paper. Go ahead and put my bolt back in. Now, especially if you're just getting out to the range, don't load the rifle and start shooting ammo right away. Take a few shots to dry practice. Get used to the rifle. Confirm that you have a good stable position and that you're gonna be okay where you're at here. Focus on the reticle. Apply steady pressure on the trigger. And when the gun goes click, make sure the reticle doesn't move. Oh, that one, the reticle moved a little bit to the left on me. I'm going to try that again. There we go. That's a good one. All right, there we go. Another good one. It does no good to waste ammo and try and move the impact of the bullets around when you're the one that might be jerking the trigger. So now that I feel comfortable with the rifle, we can go and go, go ahead and go hot and fire that first round. All right, now it's up to you on whether after you fire that first round, if you wanna make your first adjustment or not. As a general rule, you should not adjust your scope off of only one round because you have no idea if the, that location of that round is due to you doing something wrong or whether it's actually where the scope is adjusted. It's almost always better to shoot a group of at least three rounds to get a trend and then adjust off the center of that group. However, in this case, I know that shot felt pretty good and I wasn't expecting to be dead on anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my adjustments now to get me closer, and now I'm going to go ahead and shoot a three round group and see how it looks. All right. That's a great three round group, but it's about an inch low for me. This scope that I have here adjusts in minutes of angle. And if you know this already, a minute of angle is about an inch per hundred yards. So since I want to come up an inch, now I'm going to pay attention to the direction. I want to come up one minute of angle and I'll shoot another group to confirm that it's zeroed. Once you're all set, you can go ahead and slip your scales, check out your manual for how to do that, get my caps back on and go ahead and either get the BDX system set up or go get ready for hunting. Go try it out for yourself.